Hi, Willie Mix today to showing you a little trick that I use to make digital reverb, especially plugins, to sound a little more organic, a little more vintage, if you can say. So here I got a basic example with this guitar that sounds like this. Okay, nothing fancy, but something that will let us hear the reverb in a more obvious way. Then I use this reverb, Verb Suite from Solid Digital, it's kind of cool, listen to it. It sounds quite okay to me, but I think that we can make it sounding a little more organic, a little more vintage. So for that, I will use a pre-fader send in order to let us slow in on the reverb that sound like this. Okay, so I hear some frequencies that I don't like, especially in the high mid frequencies. So I use an EQ here to cutting off those frequencies that I don't like and some slight low cut and high cut to give it a little more organic vibe. So listen to it. So it's especially on the high frequencies. So the reverb sounds a little more boxy, but it's what uh, I was after especially. So I will let you hear the frequencies that I cut in solo. So that is the frequencies that I cut. Then I use a C4 from Wave to control even more those frequencies and also for the low end. So here it's on the guitar, so it won't sound obvious on the low end, but I use also this reverb on the vocal. And I didn't want to cut the low end like a lot of uh, producers and mixing engineers do. They put a low cut before the reverb and they're good to go. They don't have low end rumble and all that stuff, but I found that it sounds a little more natural if we don't cut the lows, but if we control the low. So here I use the C4 for that and also for the high frequency, high mid frequency. So listen to it. So to me, it's starting to sound a little more like a real life reverb. So I use this band for the C4. So it's compressing a little bit, but especially this one that's compressing a lot. So why I use the C4 to compress? Because as I said, I wanted only to control the frequencies, not cutting it, and I already cut those frequencies with the EQ before, but especially because I didn't want all the punch from the guitar to come from the reverb. I just wanted the guitar to bring the punch and not the reverb in order to the guitar to sound a little more organic, but not too aggressive. Then I use this free plugin from Black Rooster. It's basically two filter, low cut and high cut. I use this one because this one is a little more exaggerated. So it sounds like this. So to me, with this filter, it started to really sound like a real reverb. You know, the C4 controls the dynamic. The EQ tend to get rid of some digital nastiness. And then the filter came here just to really give a boom vibe of this reverb, a real vibe on this reverb. Then you can just go with that and being okay, it sounds quite good to me. But I wanted to beefing it up a bit, giving a little more saturation and also taming a bit the frequencies. And for that, I use the tape head from Massey plugins. It's an awesome plugin that I really, really love to use. I use this one to add a little more drive and also to 
giving that, if I can say that, analog transient shaping that this plugin is emulating really well. So let's hear it. So to me it sounds okay like that, but perhaps you would prefer the reverb to sound a little bit brighter, and it's possible. It's quite subtle here because it's a reverb, but it sounds good to me, I will let it just in between. So don't forget that we started with something like this. And we ended up with something like this. So now you just have to set the level of the reverb accordingly to your taste and you're ready to go. Okay, so that was my trick to make digital reverb sound a little more organic. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate, and then bye.